You hatch from your egg, tiny and squishy, one of thousands in a cluster. Your mom guarded them for months, but she's weak now, starving. There's no warm hello, no advice. She just drifts away and dies. You're alone from the start, floating in the vast ocean like a lost speck. This world isn't a playground, it's eat or get eaten. You're the soft target with eight arms. What's an octopus's favorite game? Squid and seek. But lose once and you're gone. Can you survive your first week? No protection, no second chances. The currents toss you around. You nibble on tiny shrimp and krill, basically crumbs. Fun fact, octopuses have three hearts. Two pump blood to the gills, one to the body, and blue blood thanks to copper. It helps in cold water. But right now it's all about not getting eaten. Jellyfish tentacles sting. Fish schools swarm. It's chaos. You jet away with mini bursts. Suck water, squirt out. Escape 101. You're clever from day one. Your big eyes spot threats early. Your eight arms are equipped with suckers that can grab, taste, and feel all at once. They're like hands with their own brains. You can even taste danger. Weird, but life-saving. Your boneless body squeezes through coin-sized holes. A crab gets close, you strike. Your hidden beak, tucked in your head like a parrot's, drills through the shell. You squirt venom that melts the crab's insides to soup, then feast. First real meal, but using venom drains you. You're smart, not superhuman. Here's where octopus life really sucks. You have 500 million neurons. You're brilliant, but two-thirds of that brain is in your arms. Each arm thinks independently. You have eight mini-brains working at once. One arm grabs tools, another scouts food. Your main brain maps escapes, it's chaos. You build dens from shells and stack rocks like a mad architect. You even carry coconut halves around as portable hiding spots, snapping them shut for safety. It takes massive energy. You're always hungry, and every hunt is a huge risk. Crabs snap back and pinch hard. Lose an arm? Sure, it'll regrow. But that process exhausts you. You're a genius running on empty. Scientists test this smarts. They give octopuses jars with food inside. You unscrew the lid like a mechanic. Some do it from inside the jar. Mind-blowing. Or puzzles with levers. You figure them out fast. Remember faces too. Like that researcher who poked you? Squirt water at them next time. Revenge pro. Months pass. You grow to softball size. Life gets more intense. Hide and seek gone wild. You crawl the seafloor hunting crabs and clams, arms exploring every crack. But predators are everywhere. Sharks, eels, all hunting you. You learn the crucial skill, instant disguise. Your skin changes color in seconds. An eel approaches with open jaws. You puff up, flash black spots, wave your arms wildly. The eel backs off. You just outacted a killer, but threats never stop coming. You start using tools, throw rocks at enemies, or hold shells as shields. They carry them like backpacks. When danger hits, dive in and close up. Mobile fortress. Fun fact, veined octopuses are pros at this. They stack coconuts and walk on two arms, like a weird robot. It's funny but smart. Protects from stings or bites. By one year old, you're dinner plate sized. You've mastered jet propulsion. Suck water, blast it out, rocket backward, thrilling until you hit a jellyfish. The sting burns badly, even with your weird blue blood. Your brain turns survival into puzzles. Clam buried in sand? Smash it with a rock. Crack it open and eat. Smart move. You've earned your applause, but there's no one to celebrate with. You're always solo. No crew, no friends. Just you versus the endless ocean. A seal spots you. You release a black ink cloud and shift to look like seaweed. Perfect escape. But even victories feel empty. What's genius worth when you're completely alone? You start mimicking other animals. Become a venomous sea snake to scare sharks. Or a flatfish gliding along the bottom. Color changes in a blink. Your skin has muscles too. You can make textures. Bumpy like rock. Smooth like sand. Master of illusion. At two years old, you're full grown. Males have a special arm that delivers sperm. Sometimes it swims off on its own. Creepy but efficient. You find a female, wave your arm, flash colors, dance a little. She approves. You deliver the package. No romance, just business. Your arm might float away to complete the job. Then males die, immediately. System failure. 
Females lay 100,000 eggs that hang like grape clusters in their den. They guard them non-stop, fanning water over them and fighting off mold. When the babies hatch, she dies too. Total sacrifice. Your whole life lasts just one to five years. Humans get decades. Romance ends in death. Nature's cruelest joke. But think about those eggs. Mom strings them up. Each one hatches a paralarva. The cycle repeats. No parenting class, just instinct. There are some bright moments. You're the ocean's master escape artist. Inky from New Zealand pushed open his tank, crossed the floor, squeezed through a drain, and escaped to the sea. Staff were shocked. Otto from Germany squirted water at lights to short them out so he could sleep in darkness. Pure genius. You mimic other creatures, sea snakes, flounders, anything. Shift from rock to seaweed in seconds. Master of disguise. Paul the Octopus predicted World Cup games, picked winners by choosing jars. Famous worldwide. Shows that smarts. You play too. Throw water at annoying fish, or rearrange tank decor. Bored? Solve it. But deep down it's brutal. No family ties. Your genius is squandered young. Humans catch you for food. They call you devil fish. Pollution floods your home. You mistake plastic for food and choke. The water's warming and you hate heat. Your blue blood is designed for cold. Your brain maxes out early. Sure, you've got tools. You hurl rocks at enemies, stack shells like doors. Your arms give you strength and sometimes that's enough. But you're locked in this pattern. Brilliant but alone, dying young. All that wisdom lost. Every generation starts over. One day old, already fighting. Three years max. Your arms weaken, colors fade. A shark catches your scent and circles closer. You release black ink one last time. Mimic a rock. One final defense. But you're worn out. The shark lunges. Crunch. Quick end. Your legacy? Eggs scattered in the ocean. Most won't make it. It's one desperate run filled with clever moments and crushing loneliness. Flashes of brilliance in a short, brutal life. You carry that massive brain through constant danger, completely alone from birth to death. What if next time you're a cat? Nine lives instead of one frantic sprint. Imagine, sunny naps, warm laps, endless affection. Would you trade eight incredible arms for that peace? For a chance to escape the loneliness? Yeah, probably. So that octopus life was wild, right? Eight arms, no chill, total chaos. But what's the next animal with a sucky life? Should we dive into a dung beetle, rolling poop like a pro? Or a cat, napping through nine lives? Maybe a penguin, waddling on ice with zero grip? Or a mountain goat, climbing cliffs and dodging falls? Drop your pick in the comments. Which animal's misery deserves the spotlight?